difficult and very sad day for everyone involved with Rangers Football Club. Can you just put into words your own, the players, the staff's feeling at this awful news today? Yeah, it's still obviously very raw, um, but it is a very sad day for everyone yeah, connected to the club. Uh, Walter was an incredible leader, um, a very successful manager at Rangers. I think he epitomised everything that this club stands for. Um, his DNA is all over the club and um, it's obviously very sad news. You talk about his, his legacy there and I guess you know when you guys walk into this place every day you see the, the trophies in the wall and you know, quite simply probably the, the, mo the most successful manager in the modern era for Rangers. Yeah he was and um, he's been right behind me since day one. Um, I had many lunches and dinners and coffees and chats and private time with him in my office. Um, so um, he's obviously going to be a very big loss and a miss to, to a lot of people. Um, as you say, he's, he's decorated all over the club uh, and he will be forever because he gave many, many years to this football club. Um, he loved the club, he, he was honest, he was genuine um, and he's made me a better person. So um, I've got nothing but good words to say. You've touched there on his legacy and also the relationship that you've had with him. How much has it meant to you to, to know him and to work alongside in these last couple of years? Yeah, I've been the lucky one to, to, to know him and, and to spend time with him. Um, so have an awful lot of other people who, who will have their own special memories of, of a great man. Um, it's going to be emotional uh, in the coming days and weeks. Um, but the best tribute I and we as a team can do is uh, be united, get the fans behind us and try and win the game tomorrow. And um, that'll be the best tribute we can we can give him and his family. Yeah, as you say, there, there is a, a game tomorrow night. Um, difficult as it is to actually focus on the football, there is a football match going to take place. How do you look ahead to that and how's the, the squad looking going into that? I think when, when you play Aberdeen, it's tough. Uh, anyway, because they're, they're a good team um, and obviously what the news of today is going to make it even more tough, of course it is, um, but we need to be united, the fans, the players, everyone at the club and um, do our best in, in the circumstances and um, as I say, the, the biggest tribute we can do is remember him uh, and honour him by trying to put in a performance and getting three points for him and his family.